What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel and we've got new team transport in the house guys and I'm excited as ever about this set. I'm really really stoked. I think this is going to be one awesome awesome team transport guys and I think so because it's got a mix of well actually it doesn't have a mix of everything. It's it's more more muscle car I guess and I'm just excited about that. I know we have Dan Gurney's Barracuda in here, which I believe is actually two of them. But the other two cars I'm really excited about as well. So like all three of these cars, I'm extremely excited about. So let's start it off with, oh, here we are. Dan Gurney's All-American Racers, Cuda. What a beautiful, beautiful looking team transport this is. Awesome. 70 Plymouth AAR Cuda with the Secura Sprinter. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I collect all his castings, as you guys know from a couple of videos back. Next is the same one. That's the double. Okay. So these two are not seen. And ah, oh, here it is. Yes, the 66 Chevelle, guys. I love this casting. And just not a lot of it. So I'm excited as ever. And it's on the 72 Chevy Ramp truck. That is beautiful. Awesome, awesome looking car. Nice. And the next one, the last one, is extremely cool as well. There she is. The uh, Fiat 131 Abarth with the second story lorry. And look at that. Wow, is that ever sweet. Beautiful card art as well. That just looks amazing. What a great set, honestly. Beautiful, beautiful set. Love all three cars here. Yeah, well, we're going to have to set up that trusty turntable, guys. So let's get to it. What's up, everybody? This is part two. I'm sorry, guys. I did not have a chance to finish the video the other night uh, for the opening of the uh, Team Transports here. But it's a good thing I didn't because now this video is going to be just a little bit longer, guys. Because as a matter of fact, just today, I went to the stores to see if there was anything available in the Walmarts. And... We just managed to get our hands on the two packs. So I'm pretty excited, guys. It's going to be a pretty good video. We've got Team Transport and we've got two packs to look at. And this is the new Mercedes Benz with the, the Sprinter Tour, Tour. Sorry. The 05 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. Pretty awesome. And on top of that, we did get the Mazda set. So we do have the 04 Mazda, Mazda Speed Miata and the Mazda RX-7 FC Pandem. And then on top of that, we did get the last one, which is the Ford set. And we got the two Cosworths. We've got the 87 Ford Sierra Cosworth and the 93 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. Not too bad. And on top of that, did find a few main lines from the F case. We managed to get our hands on the treasure hunt. Pretty cool. The Ford Mustang Mach E. We have got the regular of the Super. And of course, I do not have the Super yet. So we've got the keychain from the Porsche 911 Carrera. Pretty cool. And. We've got the Audi 94, Audi Avant RS2 in red. And we got the Ford GT40 recolor in blue. Looking really sweet in this color. But anyways, don't think I'm going to open these guys up. We're going to wait until I get... Uh, because this is all I found from that case. Uh, the dump bin was already ravaged through. So I don't know if there's anything else in that case that I want. So I'm going to wait just till I find another dump bin. And see if we can find ourselves a super treasure hunt and also uh, some more cars from that set. 
Okay, just to let you guys know before we dig into these car cultures, guys, next video is going to be a really good one. We are going to open up some really high quality Hot Wheels, guys. Got a couple of convention pieces, and I've also got the new RLC. So uh, we are going to crack those open and check those out, guys. So please hit that subscribe button. Don't miss that uh, video, guys, because as I said, convention cars, they're pretty rare, and I'm going to open them. All right, so let's get ready. Let's set up that trusty turntable and let's crack open some car culture, guys. Okay, everybody, let's shoot down these in order. And we are going to start off with the first, which is number 62, the Fiat 131 Abarth, and the second story lorry, guys. All right, let's crack these guys open. I'm actually very excited about this car right here. We've got a racing livery on this Fiat, and it just looks amazing, guys. And then open. And here we go. I guess I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna show the truck, guys. Uh, yeah, I might as well. I always show the trucks anyway, so. Oh, you're tough to get out. There we go. Tough to get out. So, here's the car and the truck, actually, because if you look on the other side there, quite nice looking truck, eh, guys, by the way? It does look good. With the writing on it, it does look good. This truck looks pretty sweet. But as you can see on the back, we got the plastic here, okay, holding in the car. So we got to try and get that out somehow. I'm not sure which way it goes. I think the car should just pop out. Yeah, there it is. And here's the car, guys. What a sweet piece. What a sweet piece. Look at that color combination. That is an amazing, amazing color combination, guys. Really, really nice. Love this casting. Think that they're doing an amazing job with it. But this definitely has got to be my favorite version yet. Blue and yellow looks amazing. Racing livery all over it. Just sweet. And even the gray mags, unpainted, look great on it. Metal base. Very skinnies. Pretty sweet. And this is an awesome team transport set, guys. Well... For people that like muscle cars or racing, it's an awesome set. For you JDM guys, maybe not so much. But that one is a beauty. Now I'm going to open up the uh, Plymouth AAR Cuda, guys. Okay, and this is Dan Gurney's car. Professional race car driver. Uh, if you guys don't know, older. And a lot of companies have already done this car. I believe Johnny Lightning has done it. Green Light's done it. Hot Wheels is doing it. Well, Hot Wheels has done it as well. I think we've got another version of this car somewhere. I'm not 100% sure, but I know I've got one. I just opened one from the Milestone Moments. There we go. I'll show you guys the truck fast, fast. It's the uh, typical uh, Sprinter, but the thing is that this one, with the uh, deco on the side, really looks pretty sweet. It's actually really nice. And here's the car, everybody. Pretty sweet. Very sweet. Love the white wheels. Solid pieces. Very heavy. Looking really good. And, yeah, I'm trying to be a completionist on this one. Not the casting itself, but on Dan Gurney's liveries. Now, those two are really, really nice. But this one, I think, is my favorite. Okay, I, I'm just a huge fan, first of all, of the 66 Chevelle. 
huge fan and i do love the colors on this one and just the fact that it comes with a licensed truck too that this is a perfect combination chevy chevelle on the chevrolet ramp truck i mean this is just perfect let's get it out Oh, almost there. It's still tough to, to open nowadays. I don't get it. The plastic seems like it's a little thicker than usual. Okay, almost got it. There we go. Okay, off to the side you go. And, well, you know what? Let's put them both on because they both belong. And here you go, everybody. Your Chevy ramp truck with your 66 Chevelle. That is just sweet. Simply beautiful. Great combination. Love the blue and white on the truck. The box itself could have used a bit of deco on the sides, but, uh, you know, we're not here for the truck. We're here for this guy. And this guy is beautiful. That's another 66 Chevelle they nailed right out of the park. Just a beauty. Real, real vintage racing vibe that I just love. And this car sits so well. Nice and low. There's your undercarriage, all in metal. Just beautiful. All right, let's take a look at these two packs fast, fast. We'll put this guy off to the side. And we will check out these here right here. They're not numbered, right? Not numbered. Okay, so it doesn't matter. We'll just open up and uh, up, up, and away. Start off with the 05 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Tour. Now, the Sprinter, we've had a couple of times. But... This one has got the outdoors vibe, really. But that 05 Toyota has really got a funky deco on it. Like, even the Sprinter, it's got that bit of a funky deco like I was trying to get to there, but I slid my eyes over to the 05 Toyota. And wow, okay, we're going to bend you. I don't care about the card. It's that I want to keep the words... Which actually I don't really, I shouldn't really even care about because it's written all on the back. So I should just rip those things right off. Okay. Learn something new every day. Here we are, guys. Sprinter. There she is. Pretty sweet. Nice deco. Gives that, that outdoors vibe, which is really what they were going for. And they, they really got it. They got it good. Real, real sweet. Great use of the real estate. Nice color on this. That is a pretty cool looking little sprinter. And here's the Toyota, guys. Look at this one. That is really awesome looking as well. Black Rhino. Mags look good. This gold, I mean, just fits. Great choice. Your rubber tire on the back. I mean, that's just awesome. Really, really nicely done. Tinted windows on the side, front and rear clear. Or are they clear all the way? Oh, no, they're clear all the way. Sorry about that, guys. I'm looking from an angle. I'm seeing the seats, which are black. So it looked like the windows were black. But overall, really cool. Now, Mattel, they did the lights up top there, but they didn't do the ones there. That's a bit of a surprise. Wouldn't have taken that much more, would it? Still, looking good. Looking real good. Okay, next, we have the Mazda set. Very awesome. We do have a repeat in this set, though, which is a bit of a down. 
you know, Mattel, they, they get away from it sometimes, like with just that Toyota set right there, that, uh, not Toyota set, uh, the off-road set that I just showed you. We got two new castings, well, new castings, no, new liveries. But here, they have the repeat. This one here is a repeat from the uh, Ronin run, I believe. Still nice looking casting. I mean, definitely good casting, but uh, I mean, it just, just came out in Ronin run not too long ago. So, Hot Wheels could have been a little bit different there, I think. But for those of you guys that don't have this casting, voila, you're lucky. You got it. And then the Mazda Miata in this kind of metallic flake gray. But not kind of metallic flake. They really went all out with the metal flake in this one. I mean, she just glimmers, glosses. Maybe a little too much, I think. But anyway, it's a very, very strange little paint scheme. Uh, nice touch with the red roll cage on the back, though. That's a nice touch. Black seats with the red behind it gives it that little bit of depth, which is pretty cool. But I do believe I like the red paint on the other one, uh, the other Mazda before this one better. This paint scheme I'm not really all that crazy about. A little too glittery for me. Casting okay. itself, though, very nice. Excellent job. Okay, last but not least, for the premium sets, is the 87 Ford Sierra Cosworth and the 93 Ford Escort RS Cosworth, which, once again, Mattel hits us with a repeat. And here she is. There's the repeat, which was in Boulevard, I believe, not too long ago. Very, very recently, actually. But, once again, for you guys that missed it, here's your second chance. It is a nice casting, though. Very well done. And the livery is very cool on this, too. Actually, I don't think it was in the Boulevard, was it? It was in the box set, I think, uh... A diorama set. Anyways, I'm sure someone's going to let me know in the comments. But here's the casting that we buy the set for. There it is right there. And that is really awesome. In shell livery, that is just beautiful. Really, really well done. And they painted the mirrors black to give it that uh, extra, extra little bit of detail. So they don't blend right into the car. That looks really, really nice. Good choice of wheels. That's definitely the winner in this set. Anyways, guys, there you have it. That is the video. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. But please, like I said... You're going to want to see the next one, guys. You're going to want to see me crack open some of these. Uh, well, I'd say convention cars are probably the, the one of the highest ends of uh, Hot Wheels. But anyways, we're going to open them. All right. So until next time, be safe, be well. Happy hunting, everybody. Ciao.